up. How does Duck Leopard really play photograph? Right, guys? <clears throat> By the way, Mike Gross Rocking Guitar Lessons. Make sure you subscribe. Take a second. Click the notification bell. Hit like. Comment. Share. All that good stuff. But please, subscribe. Check it out. So, Def Leppard. <clears throat> you see this played multiple ways. I think I have two versions on my channel. Come to think of it. Um, they had Mutt Lang producing this, remember? I had heard, and I don't know if it was on this album or the one after it, where they tracked one string at a time on the guitars. That's why it took so long. And you hear their production is just crystalline clear, right? I don't know if that's part of this thing, but I've always heard, and they're tuned to quarter step flat. I went ahead and tuned with the album on this. Um, I've watched them do this live. They play it different ways. It's interesting. You know, of course, they have Vivian Campbell now, but I don't think that's why. They've just... They've, they've changed it, and it's real interesting. So on the intro of this here, and that's what we're going to work on. So you're going to have... This is where they recorded it when they initially did it, at least in the video, where their hands are. 4G, 5B, three times. And then fourth fret, just bar that G and B twice, so... And then 2G, 5B twice. And then 2G, 3B. And check this out. To me, it sounds like the D is being muted and they're hitting an open A string, which, which would give you this. That A is not super dominant, but it's in there. Pretty dominant. So, listen for that. That's one thing you, I want you guys to check out. So. Do that open A. Now, in recent years in concerts, it's played up here. This is how they're doing it. 9DG three times, and then 9.8DG twice. Then 7.9DG twice, and then open, there's your open A, and then 7DG, and strum that once. And repeat it. Easier because you don't have to mute, but I kind of like the tonality over here better. I don't know. So. Then it goes, and it's easy to get confused on this, two times on the 4 5. Instead of, now it's 1 2. So it's two here and three here. Two, five right here. Twice. And then open, mute, two, three. Um, so. Three times. And then again. Or. Ten. They'll do one hit the second time, and then Joy Elliott comes in with the vocals. So, and all that could be done up here too, right? So, um, let me check something out. On the verse, here's what happens. But I'm talking about where he sings. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three. So... So two, three, two, three. But the next one, no, it'd be the same. But one hit on the last chord. So, is there a third way? I don't know. But from what I researched, my ear and watching, I go with this route, right? Um, but you can watch in concert, like I said, where they're playing some of these this stuff up here both of them Vivian and Phil so anyways I wanted to this has always been something that was on my mind so I figured I'm going to share this with you guys and you can pick how you want to do it obviously the notes are the same there's just a tonality difference when you play those same notes on a different string 
in theory, basically, if you think about a riff here, it's going to be a little thinner, mid-rangey, right, than up here. Actually, this is going to be a little kind of using a thicker string, think of it like that. So it's going to have a little bit of a little more of a bottom end to it. Where over here, it'll just be more kind of nasally. But I like that. Oops, where's that A? And I like at the very beginning, you listen, you can hear this. It's like... Like they hit it. I'm muting everything but the A. That's it, guys. That's all I wanted to show you today. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Share these videos. Have fun with this. See where you're more comfortable with it, you know? I think it's easier up here. I think you'll agree with that, but at the end of the day, they're the same notes, different strings. You decide how you want to play it. And it's so close that the band that wrote it even moved where they play it. Okay? So, until next time, I'm Mike Groves. Keep rocking.